Good morning and welcome to Holloway Acres Homestead. My name is Stephanie and today is Garden Tour Day. I am so happy that you are here today. This is week 12 of Garden Tour Week. It is pretty windy this morning and a little chilly because of the rain over the last two days. There's a lot of growth this week and there's a lot of dead things this week. It happens. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we are on the far left. If anything looks different to you, well, that's because it does. A combination of deer and extreme heat has caused my sunflowers and the cucumbers to die back. So this plant right in front was not a melon. I told you I thought that they were melons. Well, that's just because I don't pay attention. Turns out that they were sugar pie pumpkins. And I was able to pick one of them. Well, the, the vine died before I could pick the pumpkin. So here is the empty space. I did plant a bunch more pumpkin seeds, so, you know, we'll get more pumpkins, hopefully. Some very tall sunflowers. Look at this guy. Beautiful sunflowers. That one's a lemon queen. It's beautiful. Even though there's quite a bit of death, it's still beautiful. The one red sunflower that came up that one's beautiful. Here we are in the pumpkin patch. There's a bunch of melons growing. I have some pumpkin seeds in the ground. And my corn is falling. I am strongly considering moving these three beds on this far side. And I'll show you in a second. I'm just making this entire area a seating space and really I should have done this from the beginning but I chose this spot for the pumpkin patch because of the sun that it gets but I think with me moving the greenhouse I might be able to work that out down where the greenhouse is as it does get six to seven hours a day of sun. A whole lot going on. Um, there are some pumpkins that are starting to come up. Cucamelons everywhere. Here are loofahs. Loofahs here I have not noticed any flowering or anything yet but they're they are growing up and these two rows here are both melons um honeydew cantaloupe um i think there's a sweet baby watermelon and they're you know frankly i don't remember because i don't label things are though starting to get some cucumbers that little guy right there and there's one on the other side so we're getting some growth here and I think this spot is doing so well right here I think that this spot these few plants are doing so well because of where they are maybe just because it gets you know they get shade on that side these some um, these cucumbers on this side they don't get any shade so they've pretty much died after our 300 degree days most of these sunflowers I am allowing to go to seed. I want to save as many seeds this year as I possibly can. And that's just kind of one of my goals there. You know, I could probably come out here and pick some gherkins. A little tiny, tiny. So we have down here, this is where the zucchini was. The squash vine borers finally took them all out. I'm going to start another round of seeds. So that hopefully we can get some more zucchini because it turns out I really stinking like zucchini. Nobody else will eat it, but I do. And I like it. But they'll eat it in bread. If, if it's sweet, they'll eat it. So these have pretty much died. I'm strongly considering, because I need soil in the bottom of the garden, I'm considering putting some sort of table just here. I'm going to, what I'm thinking is that this entire spot, for the most part, I'm going to make like a giant pergola, a big pergola, a good seating area. I'm going to have vines and plants growing up it. I'm still going to do some pumpkins and some melons around. So, yeah, no, we're working on that. I'm working on that part. I have a whole lot of potatoes that I need to plant, like a whole lot. So, um, i got to get that, get on that. So, I have to get on that. Now you see all these weeds and stuff behind me? 
I got in here with the weed eater uh, a couple days ago. And what I did was tossed in a whole bunch of pumpkin seeds, a bunch of different ones. There were Connecticut pumpkins, um, a certain field pumpkin, uh, what was there, sugar pie pumpkins, Jarradale, Cinderella, there's just a various amount of different ones. I figured if there's going to be something to grow here, it might as well, might as well be on purpose, and I purposely would put the pumpkin. Here in this bed, now it's just so bright right here that I don't know if it's going to focus. Come on. Come on. Nope, just darkness. Okay, we'll have to come back, I guess. Here we are at the front. There are a bunch of melons in here. Let's see, we got some right here. I don't remember what they are, but um, they're in there. Okay, the deer keep coming back for my raspberries. The blueberries look pretty unhappy. They're looking like they're dying. Yeah, I did fertilize it. I did. Um, and I don't know. There's cuckoo melons everywhere. We're having a rough year with blueberries. Amaranth is doing fine. So we got some empty spaces. And I tossed pumpkin seeds all throughout here. Now this area right here only gets about three to six hours of sun per day. But I figured, what the heck, let's give it a shot. I didn't, uh, I didn't clean up any messes down here. So the spiders are getting pretty ferocious. Pretty scary. They're pretty large. This part of the bed, still weeds. Still need to come clean that out. This part of the bed, a bunch of carrots. We really need to come harvest this. And we will. We're going to pull just about everything out. Oh, our dinosaur kale seeds are dry. So here is a pod. And it's so bright that it's hard to tell. And inside that pod are seeds, and they've already fallen out. Oh, I guess I waited too long to grab them. Yeah, come get those. I've got stuff to do today, so it probably won't be until tomorrow. I have other stuff to do today, not garden stuff. Oh. Well, look at that. I fell out of the tree. Where are we? Ooh, here it is. Alrighty. Alright. So yeah. There are carrots nestled over there, so I need to come through and pick all of them. Tomato plants are growing. Surprised at the growth. I mean, I knew. I'm hoping, at least, that it would. I think my uh, second archway that right there broke. Let's go see. There's really not a whole lot going on over here. Uh, with all the storms, we've had a lot of debris fall out of the trees. And I have not, um, not only have I not picked it up, but I've not even checked. So we have some beans to pick on this trellis. Stinking deer, you know, they just keep on coming through. I'm seeing quite a few beans. Pretty sure these are Kentucky pole beans. Or they could be blue, like it, it would be one of them. All right, a lot of debris from the trees, kind of getting caught. Our herb bed, it looks like most of, if not all of the cilantro is ready to harvest for the seed. The basil, there's cucumbers growing. Do you see that one cucumber right there? Yeah, bunch of beans. I need to come through and get the beans. I'm seeing growth on the beans again. That makes me happy. Oh, something knocked over. I was using that as a water bucket. I even had fertilizer in it. Parsley is still going to seed. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff going to seed because it's June and that's what happens. Butternut squash. Butternut squash here is doing pretty okay. Pretty okay. In the bed right next to it. Uh, excuse the shadows. I need to come get the cilantro. This is Israel Ogin Melon. I really should wrap that or something. It's a little crunchy looking. There are tomatoes in the back lining. I know it's hard to see past my shadow, but um, not much going on in this bed either. All right, so this dill has gone to seed completely. They have flowered and these are the seeds. This is a dill seed. This dill seed will grow 
a dill plant. And I lost it. And I lost it. Okay, it's gone. So I'm going to come get those. You know what? That's probably what the parsley does, too. It just leaves all the seeds right at the top. Okie doke. There's nothing growing on this archway right now. I'm going to put beans or the tigger melon if I can get the dang thing to germinate. Let's see, this bed is pretty much empty. This is a purple bell pepper. That is a tomato of some kind. You know, I don't label things, so how am I supposed to know? There's some peppers and tomatoes in here. Still waiting on these radishes and celery to finish their seeds so I can grab them. Um, I need to come get all of the celery. It is very small, but it tastes bitter. So I could at least use the flavor of the celery. Look at there. See, we are starting to see some growth back. Right there. Growth is coming back. We've got some beans to pick. Now, I keep getting cucumbers that look like this. And I'm wondering if this is the dark Armenian cucumber or if there's a deficiency in my soil. Look at those tomato plants. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm afraid to walk into spider webs because I keep doing it. Lots of... Look at there. Got a bunch of little tomatoes. Bunch of little tomatoes. They're awesome. So awesome. I had a bunch here, but stinking deer. And they keep breaking my fence. So, y'all. This is the back row of tomatoes. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of starting to feel like um, I've really let things go. And, it, and it's because it's the middle to end of June. Things are going to die off. Things are going to look not so very good. And my two biggest problems that I have right now are the vining weeds and the deer. You know what, let's, number two, let's call that the vermin. We got the deer, the foxes, the raccoons, and the squirrels. So, the vermin. My Amish tomatoes, every time they come up, I've got one that's coming and it's wrapped around vines. But every time that they come up and start doing something, something will come through and eat them. You see right there? Just getting snapped off. In this bed also we have asparagus and basil. So companion planting, tomato and asparagus does well together. As long as you're not trying to rip the tomato out of the ground when it's done. So most of that is vines and um, you know, I've got to do a better job at keeping those vines at bay. We're in the in-ground garden section. Look at all of these zinnias. With the fluctuation and all of the changing of the light, I hope that you're going to be able to catch this for its true beauty. This one is a purple prince. It's beautiful. There's a bucket full of water with tomato plants in it. Those are jalapenos. These are tomatoes of some kind. There's a bunch of trash. I think that that is a random citrus tree that, I, I mean, I don't know where it came from. I can't remember. Got avocado pits, and I'm not walking just because, like, I have very little places to put my feet. None of that looks good. These are all supposed to be tomato plants. Um, let's see, Black Beauty tomato, Homestead tomato. Porterhouse tomatoes, so I guess if nothing else, I need to fertilize them. I've been consolidating all of the soil coming out of the greenhouse and putting it in here. I'm going to add nutrients and use that potting mix. Everything for the most part is out of the greenhouse. Except for all that. I got all the plants. So this thing is moving. I'm going to be putting rows in this area, planting tomatoes, some sunflowers, Perhaps some pumpkins and melons. We'll just have to see how things go. But this is moving. It sure is. And it's probably, unfortunately, going to have to go in the shade. And I'm going to have to use grow lights. Which is fine, I guess. You know. But, um, yeah. 
a yacht. Let's see here. This is um, this was left left, I guess. Not much. We've got boxwoods here, and um, let's see. Right here we have the Italian pepperoncini and these three, and then Nata Pino peppers and those three. And uh, that might be a Nata Pino too. You know what? I really have to label things. Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. I potted those there so they wouldn't die because I wanted them. So pretty much everything else. You can see they're all knocked over because some kind of vermin got in here. Everything else is dead. Yep, yep, yep. I have a lot of grass right here, which is crazy. You know, because my yard doesn't have grass. So, I think it's cool, I guess, So, You know, I got grass. I think what I'm going to do is put a pear tree down here, but... So I think I want to put a pear tree down here where this grass is starting to grow. Um, I really need to pay attention though to the shadow placement. Look, a big tree is going to shade out quite a bit. I don't have enough big trees as it is. I don't know, I'm still working on things. In this side of the garden, you can see where I've put all my pots and trays and stuff. We have Marglobe tomatoes in the front row. In the back row are bell peppers, and I've actually, that one's gotten really big since I put it in. Amaranth, there's chamomile, probably needs to be cut back. Uh, dead beans, it looks like they're trying to come back though. There's really not much going on over here. Everything over here for the most part is dead, or has died, or has been eaten, or there's an issue with it. Here's some more tomatoes, but you can't see past my shadow. Look at the cosmos. Beautiful cosmos. It's amaranth. It looks like we have an okra. What I put here? Okra. I planted more okra. We've got one. <laughs> the first okra! You're on a hill. We're a little crooked. I could get sideways with you. That is all that I have for this garden tour. It seems very uneventful though, doesn't it? Two weeks ago, it was it was much different. You know, it can be frustrating. All the time and effort and work and energy and money that is put into all of this, just for plants to die. So I think I'm gonna look into perennial options. I do have a vining rose beside the front of my house and I've been considering propagating that um, I've tried to propagate things before in the past and have been very unsuccessful. So we're going to give that a try. And I'll probably put the roses around the front fence. Yeah, because I wanted to shade it, you know, or not shade it, but cover it in some kind of plant. That was, that was the goal for that from the get-go. So I still have a bunch to plant. I can still do a whole nother round of summer, um, of a summer garden, summer plants. So I'm gonna start a few more tomatoes from seed. I'm gonna do some beans. Let's see, some more melons, more pumpkins. Did I say beans? I've got more peppers. Um, I just ordered some Hungarian yellow wax peppers because all of the seeds I had for that they all died. I've had a lot of death this year, a lot. I did, for seed starting, last year was much better than this year, but the way that the garden is growing this year is better than it was last year, so there's the trade-off. So I've still got a lot to do, that's my point. Thank you so much for taking a walk through the garden with me. Please like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Normally garden tours are on Saturdays, but the last two weeks three weeks they've been on Sunday. Today's Sunday. I hope you have a great day and come back and see us here at Hollow Acres Homestead. That was weird, right? Like toodaloo! <laughs>